Hello everyone, welcome to the party, this is Run. This time we are doing collectibles, we are doing all the cards, races, and all that bullshit. And we are starting off with Millhouse. Let us begin the first race. Millhouse, are you working here? That's not so bad. I get a green cookie on St. Patrick's Day. It comes out of my paycheck. Ha! Huh. Anyway, we have to go and do a time trial, so let's begin. Three, two, go! Fuck you! That was mean. You didn't even say one. I bet you the other races say one. You, you fuck. Ah, oh, Millhouse, I hate you so much. Anyway, outside of Millhouse being the worst character I've ever seen in this entire fucking game, we have a race that is so far kind of a pain in a way. Uh, it's not a big problem, except if you fuck up this jump, which is easy to do. You might be thinking, how is it easy? Well, bumping around isn't exactly the greatest thing ever because it decreases your speed and fucks your jump up. But yeah, this is a, a very difficult race. Um, if you get screwed over a lot and slowed down a lot, and if you fuck up this jump, you might as well restart because there's no way to recover from that. Literally no way. You'd be wasting too much time trying to get back to the ramp to do this. And if you went all the way around to that little checkpoint area, you still would have wasted a lot of time because you didn't have to turn around all that bullshit. It's just not worth it. So yeah, this race can be a pain. And you'll be smoking a lot because you can't get any of the uh, wrenches that are around here in this one. But if you are lucky enough and can actually make it through, then you can actually beat this, and now the time trial race done. See, so yeah, it's one of the more painful ones, but if you're able to get it for this, then it shouldn't be too hard for you at all. Atta girl, Lisa! This will be noted on your permanent record. Huzzah! So that's it for the first race, and now we have to go and deal with Nelson because we have the second race to deal with. Let's begin it. Hi, Nelson. This is a surprise. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I'll be your starting man for this mission. That was too generic, Nelson. What are you up to? What the fuck are you up to? Three, two, loser says what? What? Ha <laughs> ha! One! You fucking asshole. Uh, I knew that was coming too with the panned haha. -ha. I need speed Jesus. for speed. Anyway, this is the next race. And uh, this race has you racing against Marge, who is our level 4 character. And yes, this is where we'll finally get to drop the canyon arrow, because we're versing the canyon arrow, as well as the computer, which is a complete asshole. Wait, as you though. saw there. This uh, fucking hell. So yeah, this race is, uh... It can be pretty difficult, and the main reason is because, obviously, the computers are dicks. Outside of that, it's not too bad. Marge is... Somehow... Somehow faster than you. I don't know how she is faster, because her stats are... Speed in speed lower speed. than yours, I believe? But, she's faster than you. And so far the computer is baiting her. Uh, that's not good news. Let's uh, try and uh, hopefully change that at some point. But right now, let's just keep trying to get first. Let's not worry about this shit. As long as we're first, then the good news is we don't have to worry about any of the assholes behind us. The bad news is because there's a cross section in this racetrack that the computer can still collide into you from the side like that. Thanks, Marge, you go. fucking bitch. And now I'm stuck, and now I'm getting collided with, and I have to go backwards now. And I am literally in smoke. I am nearly dead. There's no wrench anywhere in this one either. So if I take at least a little bit more damage, that's, that's all she wrote. That's it. I lose. So, I gotta make sure I avoid that. Luckily, the computer is too stupid to get past that shit, so I do beat this, and I do win. So, huzzah. I'm speechless, Lisa. That was better than you have any right to do. <laughs> so yeah, that's the second race, and yeah, that is also tough. The next one's tough too. 
Uh, let's get it over with. Race three. What the hell do you got now, Rap? Oh wait, we got secret mission. Remember? Let's go talk to Skinner. Principal Skinner, Bart's missing. Bart's gone. What a tragedy. Uh, to get your mind off this terrible loss, which we all feel, why don't you run a few uh, errands, or as I call them, grief helpers for me? But Bart's only missing! Well, looking for that little monster, I mean, treasure uh, can't help anything. You might as well pick up Mother's Dry Cleaning for me. Oh, fuck it, Skinner. But yeah, Princey Pal, Principal, has to get all of Skinner's errands done before time runs out. Yeah! Did you seriously forget that we didn't do a bonus mission here? Oh, big we have to do it. Drive fast. Don't make me laugh. But yeah. Yes, mother. <laughs> so anyway, this is uh, Track your spore and find you really not hard, like oh, at all. It's actually really easy. You, don't, you don't, shouldn't waste too much time. You should be careful of that, by the way. But uh, ultimately, it's kind of hard to fail this. Loves clean house dresses and old lady underwear. Oh, Principal God. Skinner, I really should get back to my search. Yeah. Maybe these gold stars will change your mind? <sighs> All right. Fucking hell. Skinner literally bribing Lisa to do shit for get him. Away already. That's unbelievable, really. She shouldn't have to tolerate this, by the way. I mean, I don't know why she Not tolerates it. Just Whatever. Anyway, I'm trying to destroy this vending machine here. I'm actually struggling on taking down the vending machine. I don't know why, but I am. Once it, once I got the vending machine out of the way, I just talked to the squeaky teen, and uh, second errand will be done for Skinner. I'm almost done. I need Principal Skinner's dinner. Here, do you want to try a new crusty rib witch? <sighs> I'm a vegetarian. Oh, there's no meat in it. Just paste and MSG. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. I can't help you anymore. I need to search for Bart. Exactly. Lisa, I apologize from the bottom of my Vietnam veteran's heart. Okay. I promise this next stop will be the last. Yeah, how many people actually remember that uh, Skinner is a Vietnam War vet and you know, all that history with him? I don't think many people remember that considering it's barely touched upon anymore. But fuck it. We have to go to the casino to talk to Dr. Nick, who is dead, by the way, uh, to get Fred Aaron done. Uh, Dr. Nick, I'm here to pick up Principal Skinner's personal items. Hi, little girl. Hi, oh, you're so cute. Here's the Principal's antifungal cream. Ew. Oh, that's disgusting. Also, the camera can't handle this. <laughs> well, we got all of his shit. Let's go back to Noiseland Arcade to, you know, just park the car and get the shit done. And then we'll get Skinner's car, which is just a se sedan we're driving right now. And the sedan sucks. It's slightly better than Moe's, but not by much. It's pretty bad, and I'll show off the stats for it, but trust me, it's not that great. But yeah, you can't fuck around with this one. Uh, you barely get any time, so just get to there and you know finish it off. Cause what the fuck would you fuck around? There, we've got mother's laundry, dinner for Ed and me, and uh, some personal items. Now, if you can just help me find a place that carries mother's favorite canned aspic. This is ridiculous. I can't keep doing errands for you. I've got to find Bart. For helping me with my ridiculous errands, I suppose I owe you something. If you need help recovering your brother's body, uh, living body, give me a call. God damn it. So that's the bonus mission done, and uh, yeah, we got his sedan, and my god, Skinner, you're a dick. <laughs> Fucking hell. Open that fart, guys. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Anyway, we have his sedan, and it sucks. We're not driving it. The best car is still the Malibu Stacy car. So, there's the sedan, it's the yellow one. See, it's got better handling, and, well, it's got less handling, but it's got better acceleration. Fucking worthless, however. Don't use it. Anyway, here's Ralph. Race free begins. Why are you working here? Daddy says I should stay here till I learn to control myself at the hardware store. Vroom, vroom! Right. I'll just start racing. Yeah, let's, let's just, yeah. The checkpoint race. This is tough. One, really tough. One, one, go! 
also he said one too. Milhouse is the only person who didn't say one in this entire level. You fucking asshat. Uh, first that mission where he brings slow the fucking place, now this sh asshole. Milhouse is an asshole. Anyway, this sprint race, checkpoint race, is uh, not that easy, honestly. Uh, the computer will still get in your way and try to knock you into walls and shit and fuck you over. And once it happens, the recovery time for this is bare minimum because Marge is super good in this race. And believe it or not, I got very close to losing this. But I did beat it. You're gonna see how fucking close this was though because Marge is faster than you. And yeah, that sucks how she's faster than you. Even when you fuck up there, she'll still be faster than you. Look at this. Fucking close, man. She must get her driving ability from her mother's side. Pretty much because Marge almost won. And our reward for being on the race is the book burning van. Which also sucks. All the cards we can unlock here are really not that good. <laughs> This is a level that really doesn't give you much. Also, there's Marge just hanging out over there. We can't talk to her and we can't get in her car. But, uh, there she is. And yeah, here's the book burning van. I'm going to show you it right now. Uh, it sucks. It's worse than... It's worse than Skinner's car. What the fuck? So far, the races have not been very rewarding. But whatever. Now it's time for gags. And cars and shit. First, this gag. Ah, I'm drowning in garbage water. Ah, uh, Barney, you gotta be. How how are you even drowning in that? Anyway, here's some more gags that are inside the comic book guys shop. One there with that, and there's also this. Don't touch that. That is a ticket to the unreleased Itchy and Scratchy episode. I would only trade that for a complete set of collector cards. Please to note. I said complete. I'm not going through that crap again. <laughs> I understand, dude. And the last gag is this robot over here, but yeah. Now you know why the cards are needed for 100% of shit. Because you do get rewarded for getting all the cards. It's not just like looking at them. It's so you can get a movie out of it. Anyway, go to the university and you'll find some wasps and boxes behind the university. Go ahead and destroy the wasps and the boxes and get the coins. Then go inside the university, because there's a good number of gags inside there, and you're gonna need them. There's at least four or five gags inside the wow. university. I need to work on my cardio. And maybe not, because she's not good in the spots, you know. She, there was an episode about that. Anyway, let's do the silent alarm. There you go. And there's also more gags around here. There's, this one's a long one, by the way. It takes a to stop. There's one right here of this hamster thing. And that's it. <laughs> Quicker than the last one. And there's one of this monkey over here called the Frankie X7. Apparently, Frank created a teleporter. I don't even know how he managed to do that. But that's amazing. And we get a coin for that. And the monkey's just fine, by the way. Anyway, there's Ralph. He's just, uh... What is that? My pee came out! Oh, no. Uh, I don't even know what that is. I guess pain or something. Anyway, there's a robot here. We can't interact with it. But there's also a giant telescope that we should interact with it right now. Somewhere out there, Futurama exists. Anyway, let's continue on with, uh, you know, I'm gonna switch out of these clothes into my normal clothes, and then we're going straight to Camp Krusty for gags. Yes, more gags. There's two here, one that we dodged right here. Lovely. And another one that we dodged, 
which is right over here. It's the flag. What are you, what happens with the flag? Uh, it's you know it's a reference to another episode that I sadly haven't seen from the Simpsons, but there you are, Camp Bart. So Bart takes over Camp Krusty, I guess, because it sucked, I think. And uh, yeah, there's also a well here, which if you go down to it, teleports you to an area which you wouldn't really go for, but you should for this part because there's a wasp here. And you should destroy it and take its shit. Now, there's also a pile of rocks over in this corner over here that, that has no purpose right now. But let's keep note of that, okay? Let's keep note of that. And right above me is like a hotel, a, a motel, right whatever. Now. And that is where our fourth and last race level three is the uh, wage race. There's also a wasp up here, and a phone, and one of those gag things that you get order from. Is that room service? Where's my matzo ball soup? Like that. There's also a vending machine here and some corn just lying around and a wrench. There's a lot of stuff here, but the main important thing is the wasp, that vending machine, the coins, the wrench need repairs, uh, the phone booth you need a car, and the wage race. Which isn't that important if you don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it because time trial ship. So, this wage race can be difficult. I mean, all the races are difficult in this level, considering the cars we got, but this one is difficult because you have a lot of shortcuts, but the main problem isn't the shortcuts, it's the pedestrians. By the way, it wouldn't let me go forward for a few seconds after it said go for some reason. Sorry. I have not really. Burp. Fucking hiccup kind of problem. Burp attack. Anyway. These cars are going to get in your way. Like, you can't avoid it. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I can easily avoid it. Nah, nah, you can't avoid the pedestrians this time. You're going to be bashing through these guys at certain points. Like at the bridge and shit. And all the shortcuts you should be taking to help you out are not going to help you too much. Uh, there is one shortcut I don't even go for. It's like a small opening to the shortcut, but it lets you make a jump which jumps you straight over to the Springfield like sign and the fucking bridge there and all that shit where Millhouse was at last time. Yeah, you can skip that entire like going all the way around shit. Oh, but oh, I don't go for it. And you could have also like, um, I think you could have skipped uh, another thing, but I don't remember where you could skip in that spot, and I don't even bother with it because I don't think it's actually a good skip anyway. But yeah, uh, if you do all the uh, shortcuts and skips, it's actually not too bad, but it's actually a tough race when the pedestrians get in your way because they get in your way a lot in this one. They, you're going to be getting in the way of these guys for the majority of this. Like, no shit. And uh, if you're lucky, you won't get hit like I am. I mean, I did get hit a few times, but I got lucky enough to get hit too many times. But for you, when I do shit like that and such, you'll probably get hit and you will lose a lot of time and you'll probably lose your money. So just be careful of that. Otherwise, that's it for the wage race. Now it's time to go over here to the uh, Duff Factory, which is a wasp right here at the opening. The stroke before it shoots you. And over where the blimp is, there's another wasp there. In fact, I believe there's two wasps over in the blimp area. This will not be the last time we'll see the blimp, by the way. It's not the last time we go into this area. We'll be coming back here later on because... Believe it or not, we'll be revisiting levels because you have actually seen all the levels. Yeah, you've seen pretty much every area in the game. All three of these levels, this, this is all the areas in the game. So now we're at the Krusty Loo Studios, which if you go to Studio A, which is to your right when you enter it, you'll find the news area with, you know, Brock. Brockman, whatever. 
Kent Brockman, there we go. And there's a smart line one as well. There's a wasp here and there's some boxes here. Destroy it, get the coins, and then leave and go to the left side to where the Krusty uh, show is. There is a lot of coins you can collect there, and the best way to get a good amount of coins from there is, I read this up, you basically have to not destroy all the boxes and vending machines inside this one little area that I'll show you right now. If you leave them intact, and then you like come back here at like going to a new mission or restarting the game or whatever, and you keep all your coins, you will actually find they will have all the coins back in there and you can get like an infinite amount this way. The problem is, it'll still take you some time and you still don't get that much from this. And not only that, but it's just the instinct for you to destroy these fucking boxes and vending machines to get the coins from them. So you'll obviously not do that. Instead, you'll break all of these like I am and gain all the coins. I'll show you the way I fucking grind this coin bullshit later on. Much later on, in fact. But right now, let's just focus on getting this boss over here by these uh, seats. And then climb up the ladder up to the lights up there. Over to the outside area at the back. In which we'll find another crate and another card. This card is, I believe, our fourth card in the game, and well, in the this third level, and it's uh, an interesting one, honestly. This card is Lisa's machine, and I sort of remember this one, but I don't remember it too much. Anyway, you can find your exit over here. Just jump over these boxes and get over. And you'll get to the car easily. Now get back on the ship, go to the front of it, and you'll find a wasp to take care of it. Then go back to the middle, and you remember, there was like a wasp down beforehand, like a wasp spawning in. There was like a, I think a, a gag thing, like a crane. Yeah, that's a gag, and that's a wasp. Go to the middle and take care of both of them. I'll show you the gag as well as the wasp being destroyed. Then you go to the back and you'll find uh, some crates and some wasps to take care of them. There's also a card there, I'll show you that shit as well. But right now, here's a gag. Great. Perfect. And, uh... You get a coin. So, now go to the very back of it where the uh, secret car is. There's a crate here, there's two crates, and there's a wasp here. Shit, I, I keep getting the bird pickups for some reason. Anyway. Take care of all of them. Then, School climb up these, uh... We'll climb up the ramp. Wait, I was gonna call them stairs, but they're not really stairs, are they? Climb up the ramp, all the way up to where you just about a height enough to jump onto the edge of the ship. Once you're there, follow the coin trail to the card. It's your fifth card, and make sure to jump for this one, but don't fall off this edge. Because you'll be running back around to go to the lighthouse. This card is Lisa's I Valentine. I, I remember this one, Ralph gave it to Lisa, you know, Choo Choo, and all that crap. Wow. And then Lisa I gave the uh, Valentine to Ralph, you know, the whole Choo Choo Choo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Anyway, go to the lighthouse, and you'll find a wasp at the entrance, take care of him. And I looked around the lighthouse area, don't bother, there's nothing around us, you got all the coins there. And get inside the lighthouse from that door, and you'll find the sixth card, which is the Lisa Thank Lionheart card. Oh, cool! I can faintly remember this episode. I'm not going to actually explain it, but I can faintly remember this one. Anyway, go down from there, and then get to the Planet Hype area, where you'll find another wasp. It, the Planet Hype area, by the way, is right where the captain is, so... You shouldn't be too far from this area if you teleport there from the mission select. Anyway, there's also some coins around here, you might as well get them. There's also a wasp in a crate over by the beach. Uh, back when we were doing that, uh, fucking... Uh, destruction thing from before. That one mission where I went sideways and had to restart the whole thing. Yeah, that one. There's a crate right on the other side of that boat. Take care of it. There's also a wasp at the, uh, ocean part of the beach. Take care of him. Then... Let us go all the way over to the Bolarama, where you'll find pretty much the last wasp and the last card. 
See? Last card is uh, it's an interesting one. And to get it, you'll have to make a jump for it on these things. Now, the bad part is that the camera is never going to be straight for you here. Like, never. It's never going to help you here. Uh, if you're good enough, you won't fall down and you can get all this shit easily. Uh, but otherwise, you will probably fall down at least once or twice. And uh, once you get this card, which is seven and last one, which is Bart Soul, yeah, that episode. Then you'll have all the cards. And level three's little game track is in lock and unlocked for you. And yeah, it's gonna be interesting to check that one out. But yeah, Bart Soul, how about that fucking episode, man? Anyway, take care. The vending machine that's over by the uh, crusty burger place, and then continue on to the final gag. Over by the uh, weasel place, which is the bull pit. Yes, there's rats. Perfect. Beautiful. So now we have all the gags and the, uh, you know, cars and cards and vehicles and races, all that bullshit done. Now, now it's time for main mission, which is the old pirate and the sea. Let us begin this shit. Close to the sea, Captain, for the final mission. Arr, thanks for delivering me catch of the day. Now, I can tell ye, I saw your brother. Really? That's great! Aye, he was in a long black limo, and ahoy, there she drove! Oh my god! So yeah, they showed the black limo to find Bart until the time I'm out, Hello, and guess what? We are not an appropriate car for this mission. We have two minutes, and we have to show this limo who has a lot of health, and we do not have a lot of damage to give to it. The only way I could actually beat this is by having it destroy itself in a way onto many parts of walls and shit. This is easier said than done, because this motherfucker is stronger than you, which means trying to push it anywhere is a bitch, and requires a lot of, like, brutal force to make that happen, and the worst part is that it's easy to smoke your car right before this motherfucker does. This mission is not fun. It's much better if you were using Mr. Plow or something like that for this one, but if you're using Lisa's car, because why wouldn't you be, then yeah, you're going to have a hard time with this one. Uh, it takes quite a lot of hits to take care of him, and at the time you got, you really cannot be wasting a lot of time on this one. So here's where this little area around here becomes great help to you because if you can get the limo to hit himself onto the walls, it does a lot more damage than you hitting him. And trust me, you want him to hit walls. You want him to deal a lot of damage on these walls and then just explode because that's what's gonna happen when you destroy this fucker. Otherwise, you're not going to have enough time, you're not going to be able to beat this fucker, and... You're going to fail. And you're going to have to change into Mr. Plow. Otherwise, like me, you would have been done. And now, you go back to the captain's area, and you talk to the captain. To, uh, you know, explain, like, oh shit, I just killed Bart. Yeah, if Bart was in there... He's dead now. I mean, even though every person we, uh, you know, every time we destroy a car, there's a person that flies out and he's just fine. We're gonna say Bart's dead if he was in there. And, uh, yeah. Lisa just killed his brother. Her brother. So, what does the captain have to say about all of this shit, huh? Oh, God! I destroyed the limo and killed Bart! <laughs> <laughs> no murderer ye be. He wasn't in the limo. He got out and he boarded that ship. Can you take me there? Nah, I hate the sea. And yet you're a... Fuck it. We have a bit of a shit timer going on here, but not really. The timer here is so big it's a joke. We might as well just have no timer at all for this one. Which would have been much better. So once you get near the boat, you get two fucking minutes. Yeah. 
get more time than when you start when you talk to the captain. It's a joke. Bond is on the ship and he's not too far. Just take this jump up here, go all the way up, get out of the car, jump on the car, get up to the thing, and then just take the corner around to the left and you'll find Bart. It's such an easy spot to find him to. Once you farm, the mission's over and the level's over. So let's see, what does Bart have to say about being captured? Bart, I found you! Bart! Bart! Snap out of it! Oh, I gotta wake him up. Bart, how old are you? What's your favorite catchphrase? Kiss my grits. It's no use. His brain is even more broken than usual. All I can do is take you home and get you a diaper. Kiss my grits. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this level. It's 100% for level 3. And Lisa is done forever. We never play as her ever again. Keep note of that. Lisa only gets one level. Bart gets two. And Homer? Oh boy! And guess what? Marge only gets one level. That's mission, I mean, level four. Yeah, level four. Which is what we're doing next time in this Let's Play. Because we found Bart, but his mind has been fucked with. And there's like a Bart shaped thing in the field for some reason. That's nice. So, yeah, we're playing as March now. Ow, my middle skull! God damn it, Grandpa. And uh, yeah, we'll be dealing with her next time. But right now, let's check out the stats, make sure we know what we're dealing with. Yeah, there's a lot of. It's the same shit as the last level. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. Next time, we'll be playing as Marge in the nighttime to save Bart's brain. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.